Let's launch! EP Artiverse! Hey everyone, it's OJ, and I just want to say, I love DreamWorks Animation. Sure, they're not the greatest animation studio when it comes to putting out movies, but I feel like they can put out some feel-good movies. You could even say that for their video games. DreamWorks has put out a lot of video games during their uh, inception. Whether it be games based on their franchises, or hell, even some crossover titles. And we will be talking about one with DreamWorks All-Star Kart Racing. As you know, Mario Kart is the most popular car racer out there. Its success led to other franchises and other studios wanting to copy that formula. Crash did it, Diddy Kong did it, Cartoon Network did it, Nickelodeon did it a couple times, even DreamWorks at a point. And hell, their separate films also had car racers. What? What the f- So, it was inevitable that we would get a brand new one from the studio. And how did this one point out? Well, let's find out. As I said before, the last attempt at a crossover title for DreamWorks was DreamWorks Superstar Kart in 2011. And looking back at it, the game really wasn't that good. Not to say that it was awful, but I feel like the game lacked in a lot of areas. There was barely any modes to do outside of racing, there was no online, and most of the time, you only could play as 9 characters. Sure, it said 12, but those other 3 were just costumes for other characters. And yeah, it was very lacking. But I can definitely say, when you play this game for the first time, there's a lot of fun to be had. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game, and I can't wait to tell you about it. So, let's go to the pros. I just want to say that the best thing about this game easily comes down to the representation of DreamWorks. Because unlike the Glass game where there's 4 franchises, we have a total of 10 franchises in this game. We have Shrek, Puss in Boots, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, How to Train a Dragon, Mega Mind, Trolls, The Boss Baby, and The Bad Guys. A total of 10 franchises over the course of 22 playable characters. And there's a lot to choose from here. I definitely can say that the roster itself is a really good one. If this even goes down to the tracks, we have a good chunk of tracks that are based on some of their franchises. And I honestly love the attention to detail on some of them. You could even drive through certain shortcuts thanks to the troll bridges. And yes, the trolls in this game play a very big role. You have six troll hosts, whether it be Poppy, King Quincy, Trollix, King Barb, or Delta Dawn. These trolls themselves actually give you a different boost, a different kind of power up. And yes, the power ups are pretty essential in this game. I'll definitely get into more about them later on, but I will say that it's nice to know that they at least represented the trolls in a way where they aren't playable. Where yes, you have the Bergens, but it's nice that they actually found a way to keep them in this game. I also say that this game has some voice acting, and they pretty much marketed in the game, even though voice acting should be a thing in the game regardless without the point of marketing, but the voice acting here is actually, you know, not that bad. We actually can see the characters interact with each other on the track in case they bump into each other. And if that's honestly one of the best things about the game is hearing these characters talk to each other. Characters from other franchises that we never got to see interact. And I think that's honestly kind of a nice way to make this game feel like a crossover. And yes, we're not going to hear the voices of Mike Myers or Ben Stiller or freaking Alec Baldwin. But I, most of the actors that they got for the game do a pretty decent job at replicating the characters' voices from those respective actors. Outside of the normal races, we also have some other stuff to do, like time trials and the challenges. The challenges also gives you some extra incentive to unlock stuff, like other car parts and characters. And it's actually kinda nice to see what variety that they can give us for these other missions. And I can definitely say the time trials are also just fun to do, if you wanna just race against ghosts or just practice on your own time. I gotta say, those are really nice incentives for any other car racer. Despite me praising this game, giving the game a lot of positives, there's really three things that are holding this game back, and I'm really gonna get into them. This game can get incredibly repetitive, and not even in a fun way. Sure, I did praise all the pros in the game, but those pros can be cons quickly by a lot of aspects. First off, the courses. Like I said, the courses are represented greatly in this game, but they're far too long and sometimes they can get quite boring, especially if you're trying to do more laps just to get progression in it. Second of all, the voices. Like I said, I did like how the voice acting in the game actually has you interact with the other racers, but it also gets annoying very fast when they just don't stop talking, whether it be just getting an item or just yelling or screaming, and it gets so tiresome. And also, the items. The items 
don't do that good in the game at all. Sometimes they really don't give you a good incentive of how they work. Sure, there's the sure in the help section they describe what the items can do, but yet, but they all feel the same, especially with the troll items that you get from the troll host. As most of the time they're just speed boosts, and even the speed boosts don't help. And sometimes the courses with those items, they don't help you at all. They can actually hinder you, especially with the rubber banding from the AI. This has to be some of the worst rubber banding I've seen for a racing game. It's very bad. Something that I felt like this is a downgrade, especially from Nickelodeon Car Racers 3, the last game that the developers made for this game. At least that game actually has like the items work correctly. And lastly, the modes. Outside of racing and challenges, that's it. There's no battle mode, despite the number one thing outside of racing that you could also do in this game. In any other car racer, there's no battle mode at all. So it can get very boring to play this game, especially if you're just trying to do other stuff. And I also want to talk about the roster itself. I did praise that we did get it like 10 franchises, but I feel like there could have been more added to it, especially from DreamWorks. I'm surprised that the Croods, another popular franchise, wasn't added into this game. I'm surprised we didn't get stuff like B-Movie or Captain Underpants, like other iconic hits from DreamWorks works that are not present here and I definitely feel like it could have been more added into it especially with the fact that we got DLC with death in Ugwe so yeah that's pretty much like the biggest downside is the game can be very repetitive and just kind of annoying to just to progress if you want to have fun with this game all for it but do not a hundred percent this game because you will be annoyed very fast so what's my overall verdict with this game it's okay. My biggest issue with the game is that, yeah, it can just get very annoying very quickly if you're trying to 100% it. And also, this isn't gonna replace Mario Kart any other day. Or even the Nickelodeon Car Racer games as well. As much as I think those games are just fine as well, those have much more added content and a lot of stuff to do over this game. As this feels very empty, as I'm honestly sure that there's gonna be a sequel to this game two years later. But. I can definitely say this is one of the better DreamWorks games that I've played, and that's saying a lot. If you're a fan of DreamWorks, I definitely recommend to pick it up, or if you just want to have some multiplayer fun, this doesn't hurt. But if you're trying to play a game to 100%, do not play this game. I give DreamWorks All-Star Car Racing a 6 out of 10. Want to see more videos like this one? Comment below and tell us what other video games you want to see us review next. If you enjoyed this game, why not leave a like? Be sure to subscribe to the EB Yardverse channel and check out these socials below. That's all for now, and until the next video, peace out everyone.